Okay, so welcome to JLP Services Inc. channel. My name is Jennifer and we are going to today discuss why we actually leave a gap on the blacksmith's diamond. If we are trying to make a welded ring, again all forge welding is actually a pressure weld, but if we are looking at making a ring, a welded ring, we can actually do that by utilizing almost that same technique that we utilized with making the blacksmith's diamond. So someone asked me why is there the gap? The gap is because when you're doing the blacksmith diamond, you actually want to have a slight gap there so that they don't butt together before it actually welds to the shaft. You want it to weld the shaft before they butt together. That way there, you actually have a good solid weld with the shaft itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. I'm actually going to show how to make this welded ring, butt welded ring, uh, utilizing a mandrel, much like we did the blacksmith diamond with. So stay tuned. Here we go. So this is the part that we had cut earlier. I'm going to leave this bevel up like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to actually start shaping this to what we need. I'm going to get another heat on it. We're not only concerned with it being too pretty right now. Okay, that's pretty, yeah, a little bit more. What I'm going to do is open this up and slide that round, the sliced stock right in there. We're going to close that up some. Want that to be our right size. Like so that's pretty good. So we want to butt that up. So we ideally get one more heat. Bit easier. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to mark this. So this two, these two faces are actually going to come in contact first. So we're going to put just a little bit of an arc or angle, about like so. It's probably about 30 degrees or so. And we're going to cut it at an angle. But we want to go that way. So let me grab one more heat. And I'm going to use my narrow straight cut. But you can certainly do it with the chisel like I was doing before. Like so. You want to have a chamfered mandrel that you're using? Like so. Stick it on, snap it off, close it up. Well, it came out wonky. I didn't make it long enough. Well, we'll give it a whirl anyways. You can see that we still have a slight gap here. That gap shouldn't be there at all. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go around. And we're going to get rid of that gap. I should say we're going to get rid of, yep, we're going to get rid of the gap. Grap. We're going to get rid of the gap. So when you get good at this, you can actually do these pretty quickly. What we're looking for is also an even mass 
all the way around. Right, so you can see the ring is centered, centered and even. And we want to bevel out any sections now. We also want to make sure that that's closed really, really, really well. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to take a fast heat. So we're actually looking to take a very fast forging, forge welding heat on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our initial heat and then we're going to uh, flux it and then we're going to weld it. Do not drop it in the fire and lose it because now it's big enough it'll slide right off. So set your initial weld, roll it back and forth like so. Keep that chamfer going. I'm going to cool that section off. Going to come back here. We're going to clean up that section we just welded. We're going to take one more weld on it. Move that back down to the end. Or nearly so. Take another fast welding heat. Now we're going to put some bevels in it, make it look really pretty. If you want to, you can actually slide the mandrel through a little bit more. And if you're really good, you can actually come in and Straighten some of those out. When you're doing this and you're going around, make sure that you actually leave a little bit of space. Take one more heat, finish it up. On these finishing heats, we really want as small as hammers we can get.
Okay. So here we have it, that is a butt-welded ring.